<laughs> this past weekend was San Diego Comic Con. Which yeah, was so was. sad we weren't at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It hurts me every year. We're yeah. going to make it there, I, though. I've been, I've been wanting to go over there so badly for so many years. I, and it's too much pressure for cosplaying, though. That's why I'm like, I would just go in like a t-shirt and jeans and be like, hey, like, guys. I got a friend of mine that lives out there. He's a DJ. And he's been doing, he, DJ and producer, he did a party either last year or the year before for the 25th anniversary of Warriors. It was, er, he was, it was dope. And he lives in San Diego. He was Old like, Old people love Warriors. Yeah, I love you the know Warriors that. too, though. I came from. Yeah. It's because you're black that's different. <laughs> and I'm from the Bronx. And I'm where they started the entire Warriors, which is Van Cortland Park, too, 42nd Street. Very true. Ooh, ooh. Which is, is so clean and so yeah. pretty now. Yeah, very yeah. nice. Yeah. Exactly. Don't just the Bronx. Yeah. Anyway. So, um, let's talk about the upcoming releases. So, the timeline begins in May 1st, 2020 with the Black Widow movie that is going to be starring Taskmaster as well as Scarlett Johansson. We also have the... Scar Joe. Wait, 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 before you continue, they're going to have the Red Guardian in it. I believe so. Who is the counterpart to Captain America. Yes. Um, they're also going to have... The girl who played uh, Paige in, um, I forgot her, her real name. Fighting with my family. Yes. Yeah. Again, Black Widow, Taskmaster, mm -hmm. Fire. We're ready for it. May 1st, 2020. November 2020, we have the Eternals movie coming out. I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to it, though. I think it'll be pretty good. You have uh, Angelina Jolie. Are you, you have Eternals Sama is going to be fire. You're bugging with your bald ass. You know what it is? It, <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I never really read the Eternals. That's so, fine. We didn't know much. I didn't know much about the Guardians of the Galaxy, to be honest, and I think they're incredible. True. Very true. Give it time for a trailer. It's also going to have uh, Salma Hayek, Angelina Jolie. I'm sorry, it's the dude who played. Uh, oh my God. Not Jelani. What's the Spark guy that died? The Stark guy that died in the movie, in, the, in, the, in Game of Thrones. Rob Stark. Played Rob Stark. Forgot his name. Sorry. Oh, okay. Played Rob Stark. Jinder Mahal. No, not oh. Jinder Mahal. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am. No. Uh, Tyree Henry, who was in the in the show Atlanta. Big move for him. Uh, and then we have the first of the five television shows that will be on the new Disney Plus platform. I cannot They're wait for forcing, that. Br Disney called, is forcing you to buy that called show. One, for six ninety nine a month. Yeah. You know what? Called it. Done. Done. Take my money, bitch. Take my money. Called one. We'll just use his password. With uh, with again the vision and uh, Scarlet Witch. Yeah, Scarlet Witch. Yeah. So that's gonna which, be which is what's dope about that is that that's gonna tie into tie directly into uh, Scar um, Doctor Strange too, because we'll Scarlet Witch is gonna be. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah. Yeah. Then next up in spring 2021, both are in spring 2021 because I believe that's when a lot of Disney Plus will be launching. Mm -hmm. We have the Loki movie, which deal the Loki show, which is dealing with if you watched Avengers Endgame, if you didn't, spoiler alert, and then how they just like got the most fucking yeah. uh, gr top grossing film of all time. Congratulations, anyway, by the way. It's dealing with the Loki. <laughs> From the Avengers universe when he stole the Tesseract. And you're going to get the continuation of that storyline. Because if you remember, in the Endgame, when things change in the past timeline, it creates branches. Oh, the when he grabbed oh, the suitcase saying? and bounced? Yes. Oh, all fire. <laughs> Low-key, yes. low key, though, I think it's going to be fire. Low-key. Oh, God, yes. Also, in the fall of 2021, we're getting a Hawkeye show. With Jeremy Renner playing Hawkeye, yes. and with a young Kate Bishop, he will be training. They have not casted Kate Bishop yet, I believe. I could be wrong, but they have not casted her at the moment. I know he was saying something about he wanted his daughter to be included in it too. His, his the daughter from the movie, or his no, actual his actual daughter, because he's been singing now. That's true. He's been singing in his music video, like it's really? all about her and her like homegirls, mm. like how she's like the Jeremy perfect Renner? girl and really? stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he has like a car commercial as well. Oh, okay. It would have been interesting if he would have tried to use the daughter from the movie because the daughter from the movie is actually one of the Russo's' uh, daughters. Mm. Oh. The directors, yeah. That would be pretty good. But now, going into... Oh, actually... You missed the, movie. You missed the show. Yeah, I did. Oh, well. The show so, that I'm looking <laughs> oh, most well. for... They kind of fucked it up because they like did it weird. They did it that way instead of going yeah. just 
that way. Like yeah, that way. Up. So the show that I'm yeah. looking most forward to is the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yes, sir. That way, offset. Yeah, ooh, thank ooh, you. Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. I have to, I have to appeal to the youngins. We got to do all crowds, you know. This is true. I'm yeah, just we saying. We do have to get the 18 to 24 crowd. I am so looking forward. Falcon to Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We did get confirmation that Falcon will be wearing a Captain America fit. He got fitted for the new costume. So he will be Captain Bro, America. We got a black Captain America, nigga. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we did, Nez. Um, can I tell you a funny story? It's, it's, it's My best friend from Miami was out here, and she was like, yo, can I just ask you a question? And I'm like, oh, damn, what the fuck is she going to ask me? And she's like, you know, at the end of Black Panther, the guy with the silver arm, who was that? I was like, bitch. <laughs> 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 she didn't watch any of the Captain America movies. So, so she just went to some movies. She was just like, what kind of forever? Yeah. And, and was she one of those people that said, yo, I got to go visit this place? Uh, no, she was not. Uh -huh. But I would not be surprised if she did. Oh, no. She shaves her head and stuff. She's one of those, oh, you know? Oh, yeah. her. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. there, there was a, a lot of people that was like, oh, man, Wakanda seems like a nice place. Yes. And then, yeah. wait, and she also said, why was Michael Douglas in Endgame? Yo, oh. that had me crying. So I had to make her watch oh. Ant-Man <laughs> and then Ant-Man and the Wasp, which I don't mind watching over because it was good. You, you know, I actually, you know how, how hard it was for me to try and get Allison to watch as many of the Marvel movies as I did? But why? She's usually so cool. She goes to Comic Con. She goes to Comic Con, but it's not because of the shit that I like. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty easy to have her watch the Marvel movies now, especially with Disney Plus coming. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you she... better stop giving them ads. Well, I'm, trying <laughs> paid. I'm trying to get paid. <laughs> you trying to get sued? I'm trying to get. This, uh, I'm hey. trying to get it sponsored by Disney. You know what? <laughs> I'm just trying to get a free subscription, man. Mm. <laughs> oh, that I, I'll, I'll be like hashtag you know ad. Hulu too. No, they better not fuck with it. I love they Hulu. Hulu. No, Hulu. they leave Hulu out with it as it is, but they oh. bought it. Yeah. I love Hulu. Wow, yeah, Disney's buying everything. Mm -hmm. I like Hulu more than Netflix sometimes. Because they want to be able to use the adult really? content. It's weird that they want to produce and put it on Hulu. Yeah, yeah. Hulu, Hulu has some. Like, okay, Hulu okay. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't really Watch your mouth. Love yeah, Island's yeah, love on Island. Hulu. Talking about, bro. We will fight you. you. We'll mug you, you off, know, bro. You know what? I In love. it. Actually, <laughs> I only watch Hulu for four things. Raw SmackDown, but I don't watch it. <laughs> nice. Community. Okay. That show is still a classic. Uh huh. And One Tree Hill. Oh, okay. No, One Tree Hill. Yo, <laughs> that's my show. I love you. Of course. You. Community of course, is probably yeah. good. Yo, he's an old soul. Of course. <laughs> Listen. Because oh, One Tree Hill was not in his time. If that's people don't shit. know about the streaming wars that are coming or happening right now, Community is probably going to leave Hulu and go to the NBC Universal app. That's true. The Office is leaving Netflix to go to the Universal app, and Friends is leaving Netflix as well. Thank to God. Go to the no, H to go to God. the new HBO app that they have the rights to as well. Because a lot of these shows yeah. that that are on certain networks were produced by other networks, and mm -hmm. those other networks own the rights. And are now producing their own streaming. Is services. CBS coming out with their CBS own? CBS does have a streaming service. They already. have like they, a little had just. It for a while, CBS All Access is their streaming service. All Access has been like. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. But they. Because they hold all of their shows hostage. Like, yeah, you can't watch anything. Yeah. Unless if you want to watch freaking Big Bang Theory, you got to like go. I don't want to. I don't want to go to a CBS streaming service. Gross. CBS is like Gross. the ones that are super early to this party. Yeah. Because they've been doing it for, what, two, three years already? M M like, anything Viacom, CBS has been yeah. pretty early. Like, MTV, VH1, yeah. BET. Even, like, Fox had a little bit of an app, but it just didn't work out. But, yeah. Because it was fake news? Fake news. Yeah, and it's Fox. <laughs> so. Exactly. So, getting back into it with the phases, we have the next movie. In February 12, 2021, Shang-Chi yeah, and the Legend Bless of you. the Ten Rings. I admit... <laughs> Yes. I don't know much about Shang Chi. What I've read on him is that he's the master of kung fu. He is the master of kung fu. And That's he the has kung the fu abilities. panda, right, guys? Take it easy. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. You know what? She's right. <laughs> <laughs> it is kung fu panda. She does. She does make a point. We need kung fu panda versus Shang Chi in a steel cage match. Yo, you, fire for the ten rings. For the ten rings and the universal title. Um, <laughs> for real, Brock will um, still probably win. <laughs> That's definite. Just so you know. Yeah. There's, there's going to be Iron Man influence into this movie because of the Mandarin, who was mm. his dedicated villain mm. in the comics. And after Iron Man 3, there was a one shot that was filmed that wasn't really released except on like DVD. I think it was a bonus. 
clip. It was right a bonus here. clip where, you know, the guy that that was pretending to be the Mandarin in Iron Man Three, Ben Kingsley. Ben Kingsley, he's in jail, and then they break him out of jail because the real Mandarin is upset that he was being disrespectful by using his character, mm. and it it's supposed to tie in that there is a real Mandarin and he's out there, and then with this movie coming out, it's gonna tie back to Iron Man 3 at some point. Mm. But guys. that makes a lot of sense. And that would really but. work very well. Because <laughs> apparently, what I've always kept seeing was that he was sort of Marvel's way of making up for Iron Fist. Oh, child. Not that make up for that. You know, this is like even back then with the comic. Because again, he was part of Heroes for Hire. He was part of the yeah. Defenders unit. A lot of like Hell's Kitchen, New York-based superheroes. He was Shang-Chi yeah. was one of those. So, is, is that... It'll be interesting if they localize him like that, or if he's on a bigger scale where he's global. Seems like he's going to be more of a bigger scale since it is a movie outside of a TV show. But when it comes to the Defenders, who knows if Disney Plus will pick them up again, or if they just well, that's def- it. that's definitely going to that's definitely going to go to the Disney Plus. I think that's the reason why they stopped doing it on Netflix. Yeah, but I hope so. I really do. Yeah. Then we get the first horror film. Now, this plays in line with the WandaVision, because that does come out also in spring 2021. May 7th, 2021, we get the first horror movie, apparently, from Marvel called Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And that will be starring a lot of Scarlet Witch. And rumor has it that is written in a way that really shows the true form of Scarlet Witch herself. Like, we get more into that character rather than the the Wanda we get. The madness that she can be. Yeah. I need to say this. Now, remember what we recorded, episode 92, where I say this. Yes. This movie is going to be the most important in Phase 4. Because yes. I feel like at the end, oh, yeah. they're going to bring in the mutants. And I, wow. I, I, I totally I'm agree. You, the multiverse thing, they're going to bring in the mutants. Because it, it makes Sorry. the most sense. Because how can you really bring in the X-Men into the Marvel Cinematic Universe when a lot of their story is rooted in kind of like parallels of the civil rights movement mm-hmm. so you can't so it's it's difficult to kind of bring them into it's the not we got time. trump administration yeah, yeah not no. that hard yeah it's I not mean, that hard it's not that hard but you can play we're parallel segregated, roles of yeah. segregation and but civil then, rights but you could do class segregation you, you can go. do it, there's so many things that they can do it's not that hard yeah but we know civil rights movement was like it's so like you know in your brain because you mm-hmm. were there so, uh-huh. like, we get it. Like, that's what's, like, dominant in your brain. But I there's... mean, V for Vendetta did that during the Iraq War in 2005. Oh, my no, God. No, I, everybody they, had those stupid masks on. I get that. They, but the thing they, is they, that they we're talking about that enhanced too. individuals that they basically did in, Marvel, um, in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, it's like... What makes a mutant different from the, from the people that, that were enhanced in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I'm sure they can explain that pretty well. I think people already. I, I feel like a lot of people are already very familiar with them. I don't. I don't know if we're gonna get the X Men yet. We'll probably get clues to the X Men. Yeah. I don't know if we'll get them yet. I think this is a good window for Fantastic Four because okay. they that need. I, they need the reboot more than X Men does. I still like your answer. Thank you for speaking. That. No, no. I, I think huh? well, no. he doesn't speak much. You can't tear him down. No, Guadalupe. no, no. no. That's, that's what I, said. I think he's right. No, Guadalupe is definitely prob- right. I think. Yeah. I think we're definitely gonna get yeah. hints of X Men, but I think right now we're probably gonna get. Uh, Fantastic Four, because I feel like that's that seems to be the movie that they're building first. But Fantastic out of, like, Four out of the two cop, like but, out of the two but, but Fantastic Four back. could be done in the current universe. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's a bit easier to do. But if we're talking about a movie that is discussing about the multiverse, it's it's got to be. That's yeah. what what Guadalupe is saying is makes a lot of sense because mm-hmm. if you're gonna touch on the multiverse, then you could definitely see X Men. Yeah, and then see possibly other realities you know the reality that Loki's in mm-hmm. so there's there's uh do you think there's a chance that this is all building towards the secret wars yes Do-do. yeah and I wonder if the secret wars uh, the secret because now we know it. the last 22 23 films from Iron Man 1 to this past Spider-Man uh-huh. I believe that's all called the Infinity Saga now yes but yeah. here's here's the the thing that I'm wondering about if they're gonna take a um, take a, a a plot line from DC Comics, where they introduce the multiverse, mm-hmm. and then 
uh, have a larger threat come into effect that then merges mm -hmm. the multiverse into one, which is what they did on Crisis on Infinite Earths yeah. in DC Comics. But these yes, are also, I just got super fucking No, it's fine. Right. But you know what? The, the good thing yeah. is, like, these are kind of the things that we were getting from Jack Kirby from before. Yeah. Remember, the Eternals isn't an original entity of Marvel. The, Eterni the Eternals was actually supposed to come from DC when Jack Kirby was there. Yeah. But when he left D uh, Marvel, I mean DC to go back to Marvel, that's when he created the Eternals to continue what he was really trying to exactly. do. And then people like Dark Seed and uh, what's this dude name from the last uh, uh, Justice League movie? Oh, uh, well, you said first off it was Dark Side. Dark, no, and Dark Dark Side from yeah. Dark Side from DC from DC Comics. And then and you're talking about from this black Steppenwolf. 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 Yeah. Then you also said Steppenwolf that were also creators of the Eternals. Yeah. So I think we're gonna get a bit of that. That might add some. Who knows where that could go? Because that could also be an X Men thing too, mm -hmm. or maybe a Fantastic Four thing. But I think probably more X Men as well. I think those two, that and and, and Doctor Strange, would definitely give us a lot of uh, X Men and Fantastic Four vibes or clues, at least yeah. of what we're going to be getting. So yeah, so that's a little bit of uh, us talking comic books. Oh, we also got the cartoon starring Jeffrey Wright called What If, which is the series of. Episodes that'll be dealing with what if questions like what if Wolverine was part of the scroll or something and What if is one of my absolute favorite comic books of all time that series um, One of my favorites was what if Wolverine was an agent of shield yep. um, Another one was what if Uncle Ben had not died You know there's so many what ifs that that it's It's a series that has endless re Endless stories. And possibilities. Yeah. Um, a, a subtle hint that, that happened during the Comic-Con is they did show all members of the Marvel Universe will be able to repraise their roles as voiceovers. Yes. For the What If series. The only exception, Robert Downey Jr. is Tony Stark. He's not doing it? He's not in it. Oh, shit. So he's dead, dead. He's gone. They killed him off. No, wait, wait. He's not in it. He's not in the photo of all of the characters that will be in the What If series. No, I mean, yeah, I know that. But I thought he, was, he had said that he wanted to stay involved with Marvel after his contract was up. But I guess that was just... Uh, I'm sure he will at some point. But for this moment, he's if, not. If they, yeah. I mean... Maybe remember, they're holding him. Yeah, they're know. probably holding him. And then the last movie of the Phase 4 in November 5th, 2021 is Thor Love and Thunder, where we see Natalie Portman... Playing Thor, yeah, Man, Lady Thor, Jane Foster. They're taking they're taking this directly from the comic books, where her character Jane Foster becomes the becomes the god of thunder, and um, the best thing about this movie is the fact that they have the director from Thor Ragnarok returning to direct Taiki Waiki, Taika Waititi. Yeah, and I'm already take my money. Yes. Yeah, that's Just take my money. One thing I really like about Natalie Portman is it's very easy to get, like, pigeonholed into a Star Wars role and, like, be stuck. So she could have been Queen Amidala for a year and been stuck. Like, and nobody would be like, I can't touch that because she's a Star Wars character. And she broke out of it. She really did. And now we got this. And this should be easy. And you know what that means. That everybody needs to eat their veggies and go to their yearly checkups so we can all make it to 2020. But you know what? When it comes to Natalie, Natalie Portman, though... I don't think Star Wars could have ever defined her because she was such a badass before she started doing Star Wars. I mean, think about the profession. To me, mm. anytime I think of a movie with Natalie Portman, the first mental image that comes out of my head is her sitting like on the uh, um, on the steps right as the cops are going into the apartment. Mm. I also, th I also think of Black Swan too. You know what? I still haven't seen Black Swan. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay. But, like, I don't really think of Star Wars. I don't think of... It's it's that movie, because that movie was such a crazy movie. I'm surprised with, like, the memory loss that you actually remember these things. That's good. <laughs> it's really good. And on that note... <laughs> uh, that is a wrap. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for sticking around and listening to this. And uh, have a great weekend. Peace Bye. 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 that, Sarah. Shut up. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy
Happy birthday, dear Tara. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Yeah. Woo, woo. And there's some. Oh, yeah. God, you blew it too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Light it again. Light it again. I'll do it again. I'm sorry. It was a lot of pressure. Thank you so much. Thank Thank you. You. You'll get the one on Saturday. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even think Yo, about it. Yo, that scared the shit out of me, bro. I was like, oh shit, we, yeah. we fighting now. What's happening? You were like, and I was like, oh my god, what happened? Sorry, sorry. Shout out to LAX out here. <laughs>